These are the two most powerful light pods on the market, and today we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison to find out which light is truly on top. Okay, so as we all know, the light that can produce the most intense hotspot and the most light is always going to come out on top, but there is so much more to it than that. Before we jump straight to performance numbers, I'm going to go over all the features on these lights so you know exactly what you're getting with your money. There are a lot of factors to consider when buying a light, so I'm going to quickly list everything that we're going over right here on the side before I start. Of course, if you are only basing your buying decision on what is the brightest light I can possibly get, then skip to the end of the video to find out which light comes out on top. But if you are interested in seeing all of the little details that goes into making each of these lights what it is, then stay for the beginning of the video because we are going to cover all of it. Anyways, with that said, let's jump straight into it. First off, this is a Baja Designs LP6. Many of you already know of this brand since they have been around since 1992 and they have since established themselves as the king of off-road lighting with pretty much nobody that has been able to rival them until now. On this side we have the Diode Dynamics SS5. Diode Dynamics has been in business since 2006 but only recently started producing light pods in the past few years with this one in particular coming out only in the last few months. Now when it comes to power both of these lights are pushing out 90 forward facing watts with the Baja designs also pushing out an additional 15 watts in the integrated peripheral lighting on the sides. Now unfortunately, numbers like these almost don't mean anything in today's era because there are so many knockoffs on Amazon that are claiming much higher numbers. To get a baseline comparison, I bought the highest rated 5 inch light pod on Amazon for 20 bucks. This thing claims to push out 140 watts, but when I actually put it to the test, I found out it was only pushing out 10 watts. And that seems to be a common theme among almost all of the lights on Amazon. They are all looking to put out the highest possible number because they are looking for easy sales to people who don't know what they're looking for. Meanwhile, both of these lights here are true to their power. I tested them both and they really are putting out 90 forward facing watts of power. Next up is size. So true to its name, the SS5 is in fact five inches wide and five inches tall. The LP6 is about six and a half inches tall and six and a half inches wide. I actually wanted to get the Baja Designs LP4 because I thought that would have been a more comparison with the LP4 also being five inches in size, just like the Diode Dynamics light. But unfortunately, all of Baja Designs lights are on back order for about two months and I wasn't able to get my hands on one, but I was able to get this LP6 which is a much larger light in comparison. Most of these diode dynamics lights are in stock right now, so if you're in a rush, this is absolutely the way to go. And if you're willing to wait a little longer, then Baja Designs is also an option, but just remember, you're gonna have to wait two to three months to get your hands on one. Now, this comparison is a little bit unfair considering the size difference between these two lights. The SS5 is considerably smaller, but we'll have to see how this little light stacks up to its bigger competition. Now on to probably one of the most important topics, pricing. Baja Designs lights are currently one of the most expensive lights on the market with this one coming in at a staggering $475 before taxes. This Diode Dynamics SS5 Pro on the other hand comes in at $350, but they also make a SS5 Sport which is 40 watts compared to the 90 watts here, but the SS5 Sport is only $220. If you are on a budget, then the Diode Dynamics lights are definitely the way to go. But if you can afford to fork up the extra little bit of cash, then the Baja Designs are here waiting for you. Next, we are going to talk about the optics of these lights. So Baja Designs likes to use a fancy term called clear view. This is just a fancy term for the outer lens, which is going to change the beam pattern of the light. The light itself is actually just using a standard reflector optic. So this means you have the LED at the center of the reflective bowl that is surrounding it. This is a very traditional style of optic that is usually prone to a lot of light spill, but because Baja Design lights are so thick, there actually isn't that much light spill considering that this is a reflector optic. Again, if we look at the side profile on the LP6, we can see that it is incredibly thick. And if we compare it to this Amazon bot LED, 
the reflector cones are much shallower, so this light is not able to contain all of the light and it has a lot more light spill. Over here, the diode dynamics uses something completely different, which is called a TIR or total internal reflector optic. This is a spare lens and as you can see, all of the optics are built into it. If we compare that to the lens on the Baja Designs LP6, we can see that they are able to control the optics by etching in this pattern onto the cover. Since the diode dynamics optics are built into the lens itself, diode dynamics claims that there is almost no loss of light, whereas other brands such as this Baja Designs might be subject to up to 10% loss of light from that extra cover. Also, since the diode dynamics is using those TAR optics, you can see that this light is much thinner compared to the Baja Designs LP6. This means that the overall size and weight of diode dynamics lights are going to be a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller, which could help you out if you are trying to squeeze these lights into a really tight area. Now, both of the lights I have today do in fact have a spot beam pattern. I felt that this was the most fair comparison, but keep in mind the Baja Designs LP6 does have a nine degree wide spread of light, whereas the diode dynamics SS5 is supposed to have a 20 degree spread of light. So the Baja Designs might have a much more focused beam pattern, but we'll have to see how that plays out in the real world since this does use reflector optics that could mean that the light is going to spill out a bit more and it might be wider than nine degrees. Whereas since this has those TIR optics, it may be able to control the light spread much more, meaning that this might actually be a very fair comparison in terms of total light output. Now, in regards to build quality, both of these lights have an IP69K rating, meaning that both of these lights are highly resistant to dust and water ingress. Both of these lights can handle a pressure washer, no problem, and I have enough experience with these lights to know that those claims are absolutely true. When it comes to heat sinks, both lights have taken a very different approach. So Baja Designs has taken the more traditional approach with the thinned heat sinks on the back. While the diode dynamics has taken a new approach that I actually haven't seen from anywhere else, but they decided to use these pinned heat sinks on the back. Now, I can't say which method is more effective, but I do know that both of these lights are very good at heat dissipation, so you're not gonna have issues with either one. Now, when it comes to swapping out lenses, both of these lights are fully capable of fully interchangeable lenses. So if you are deciding to change to a flood or a combo lens or something of the like, then that is totally something that you can do. And I have done it on both of these lights. I would say it takes about the same amount of time. It is the same ease factor on either light. So if this is something that's going to be a deciding factor for you, then you can't go wrong with either of these lights. Okay, so the last thing we're going to cover before we go out into the field is backlighting. So the Baja Designs has a pretty standard backlighting feature, meaning that it will turn amber, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I have my power supply here that I'm going to very quickly plug it into, and as you can see, this is the Baja Designs backlighting feature. You'll notice that at the bottom, it does have a light up logo. I'm actually not sure why they put the logo there instead of having another LED in that spot because it seems like most people would want to have a more powerful light, but for some whatever reason, they decided to put a Baja Designs light up logo at the bottom. Now over here, we have the Diode Dynamics SS5, which has a very similar feature, but they took it one step farther. So not only can the backlight become amber, but they have a few other colors in the mix as well. Okay, so we are about to plug the light in, and as you can see, there is the amber backlight feature. Now, if we turn it on and off a few times, we can toggle the other colors as well. So I'm going to try and do that here. Now I am just tapping on the power supply, so you might see it flicker in and out here and there, but we are going to toggle through all of the different lighting modes. Anyways, that is it for the first part of the video. We are now going to take these lights out into the field. We have our official lux meter here so we can determine which light is actually the brightest. I'm gonna keep the exposure locked on the camera so it's not gonna change or anything. And then we're going to see a real world comparison of how these lights do in the field. So we are now out on location to do the official test. We have our cheap Amazon five inch pod. This is one of the most popular pods on Amazon currently. We also have the Baja Designs LP6 Pro and we have the Diodynamics 
SS5 Pro. As mentioned previously, all of these lights have a spot beam pattern so that we can have the most even comparison. Now, in order to get the most accurate representation between all of these different lights, the camera settings that you're seeing now is going to be the same for the rest of this video. So we have f1.4, we are recording in 30 frames per second with 1 60th of a second shutter speed and our ISO is at 2000. Okay, so what are we looking for? Since all of these lights here have a spot beam pattern, ideally we don't want to see too much light spill into the foreground. We really want to see that nice focus hotspot out in the distance behind me. Now to make sure that we get accurate results, we are going to be measuring each light three times to make sure that there is no anomalies. And then we are going to average out those three measurements from each light so that way we can get the most accurate result. Now out in the distance, you can't actually see it because it's so dark out there, but we have a table with our lux meter sitting on it at exactly 100 feet away. Anyways, enough with the babbling. We are going to set the camera down on the tripod for the rest of the experiment. It's gonna stay put there. And so now let's get on with the tests. By the way, just to let you know, we do have a street lamp on out here, so that is going to be causing a little bit of a red glow in the foreground. Okay, so this is light number one. This is the Amazon light, and this is test run number one. It is pretty decent, actually. So we're gonna go out there and check the reading from our light meter real quick. Okay, so I just got back from checking out the measurement on that test run. So this light came in at 14.2 lux. If you're wondering how I was able to check that without having the light on, it is because our lux meter will store the highest value that it records for the duration of one of our test runs. Anyways, we're gonna quickly do two more test runs to make sure that we are getting the correct result. 13.6. Okay, this is our final test run of the cheap Amazon light. Okay, so now we have the Baja Designs LP6 and we are going to do our first test run on this thing. Wow, that is a lot brighter. This thing is a massive improvement over the Amazon Bot Light. 310.6 Okay, wow, that Baja Designs lights was really bright, but now we are on to our last light, the Diodynamics SS5 Pro. Now see how this light compares with the Baja Designs LP6. Wow, that is bright. So this light, you'll notice it has a little bit less light spill in the foreground, and it looks to be a little bit of a stronger hotspot in the distance. Check that out. This is rounds number two for the Baja Designs LP6 Pro. This is rounds number two for the Diode Dynamics SS5 Pro. Just shining it off to the sides a little bit so you can see how it looks everywhere else. And this is the last round for the Baja Designs LP6 Pro. And this is the last round for the Diode Dynamics SS5 Pro. So I don't know how easy it was to see the results on camera, but we did do a quick little test off to the side. And yes, the Baja Designs does have a narrower beam pattern, but even though it does have a narrower beam pattern, that hot spot is not quite as intense. Oops, that was an accident. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry.